monkeys. I will be that time for me. And not it. Easier you with the path narrows, danger lurks. Oi, kid. You look suspicious. What kind of Yaogwai are you? Shh. I'm looking at that Buddha over there. See his belly button? It's so big. Me and you, we look way smaller. Buddha? Where is it? You see no Buddha because you think no Buddha. No thought, no sight. I, the sacred Gourmand, saw enough Buddhas before you were born. Foolish brat. You didn't see that coming, did you? True hearts find their path, and the Buddha is on that path. Why not worship with a true heart? The path might just show itself. Worship my hoof. Visit temples, kneel to figures. You tell no black from white. That's my master. I am fed up with all these skin-deep rites. <laughs> <sighs> no true heart. The path is sealed. With true heart, it's revealed. Visit each temple you encounter and worship every Buddha you see. Or the true face of Buddha will always remain elusive to your eyes. it now. For Buddhas, that boy said. Ah, there must be four Buddhas to worship. <laughs> Loony monk. God reason with him. Just go through the motions, boy. Who knows if it's true or not? That little monk was speaking riddles.
Back when we journeyed to the New West, our master took it from Mount Lingshan. He visited and kneeled to every figure until Yellowbrow captured him. Uh, I'm not my master. that sound. That little mug's up to his tricks once more. Worship my hoof. Let's go back. Chubby one, we've done the rights. Where's the path? <laughs> the path? Isn't it always there? <laughs> Don't you trick me, you bald, pot-bellied brat! All I'm seeing are mountains, no path at all! He sees wisely with faith. You are daft without it. Cut your nonsense! Ah, you must be that trickster himself, fooling us all along! Take my rake! <laughs> Brat! Save your stupid path! I'll borrow one myself! You go on first. I'll meet you at the summit.
One monkey dead, and another shows up. <laughs> the face of the destined one. It will fit me just as well. I 
Ages ago, Jin Janza and I were peers. Ever questing with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra, when one oneself can be a Buddha? Kneel before the Buddha of the future.
My sack awaits misguided souls like you. Enter with it and find enlightenment. <laughs> Trickster called you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard. Join me. Let's fight our way out. Me 
quench your thirst for blood. Ah. To deceive me, I am. What? 
rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Uh, you potbelly! I should have figured out it was you! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake! We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray <sighs> lend me that break of yours. <sighs> <sighs>
Carried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? <laughs> 